Hello and welcome to part two of my tearing tutorial. And here's our previous code, except it's modified a bit. Here I just put ground equals load terrain, high mountain dot jpeg, and that's a height map I made myself. I'll explain what height map is in a minute. It's similar to the topographic map. It just shows differences in elevation. And I'll just show you what that is in a second. Here I just uh, scaled my ground. Uh, since height maps are pretty small when I imported them, I'm just going to have to stretch it out on the X, a bit on the Z, and really I'm pulling it up on the Y axis with a 50 times scale on our Y axis. And I am just going to use grass1.jpg, which was very skillfully made by one of my friends. And now let's just run this program. And let's just navigate through our scene here. And here we have a really nicely made 3D environment, I guess. So let's just navigate around. I'm just going to show you some of these places. Just three mountains that I put in here that have a difference in elevation. So, yeah, let's just exit out of that. And just to show you another cool example, I made another one, spiky.jpg. And by the way, these files are in our uh, Project 12 folder, spiky.jpg. There we go. Let's run that. And here we will see a series of spikes that just stick out of the ground. So, yeah. So let's, I'm just not going to go through this whole landscape. I'm just not going to bore you. So let's get to the interesting part here. Let's minimize this window, and let's take a look at the source files of spiky.jpg and, mount, and highmountain.jpg in our Project 12 folder. Just double-click on it, and I just want to show you it. So high mountain first, double-click on that, and check this out. This is our high mountain file. All it is is a grayscale in our uh, elevation. As you can see, the black part is where there's no elevation at all, and the white most parts are where there's the maximum elevation. Here is it is. It's pretty cool, I think. Well, not really cool, but to think that it could really do that much, pretty cool, I guess. So, yeah. So once you've taken a look at that, we can see our spiky.jpg. One sec. Spiky, and it has a series of dots. All it has is a series of dots because they're really quickly elevated without any gradual rising. And, yeah, that's what makes up our spiky JPEG file. And, I mean, if you know how to do this in Photoshop, you can just use the little brush tool and just click on it using different values of gray slash white. You really need to. And, yeah, that's basically it. It's how you make height maps. And I suggest that you get some Photoshop tutorials to so know how to make them. But it's really easy. And they need to be square, though. That's the dumbest thing ever. So you can't, like, make in Microsoft Paint, you can't make your own texture and put it in. Because it's really dumb. You can't actually even put in your own resolution in Microsoft Paint. So, yeah. When you took a look at those. And now let's just exit out of that. And open up our Blitz 3D IDE again. And that's basically just all it on height maps. I just wanted to show you how cool they can be. They can make a really cool interactive 3D environment. So I just wanted to show you how to get the idea, how to make your own height map. And, yeah. And I use the load terrain command too here. So... This is definitely going to be more interesting in the next tutorial, where I will teach you how to make your own sky. That looks pretty good. So, thank you for watching, and see ya.